Hey, Rene Garcia with Games Gear Tech, and today I want to upgrade my microphone arm. There's not anything particularly wrong with the microphone arm. However, it is just a little bit of a pain to have to move this in whenever I want to use it and then swing it back out whenever I'm done. Plus, it's taking just a little too much space right here. And I would like to replace this space with maybe a notepad or a drink or my lunch, whatever it is. So the plan today is to mount my microphone behind my monitor and have it come hanging down so that I can just move it up and down whenever I'm done with it. So I think I have the perfect solution, but it's in the studio. So let's go take a look at it now. Today in the studio, I have the Array two-section broadcast arm with internal springs. Those are the best kinds of springs, internal ones. Let me just read the box before we pop this open. It has, uh, it is a two-section broadcast arm. It features internal springs, which provide a clean and sleek look. Supports microphones up to five pounds. That is 2.27 kilograms. Smooth, noise-free positioning. We will put that to the test. Uh, 5 eighths inch, 27 standard microphone thread is compatible with most shock mounts and microphone clips. Extends up to 40 inches or 101.6 centimeters and rotates 360 degrees. 14 inch or 35.6 centimeter riser included, uh, providing extra height to the broadcast arm, which is exactly why I wanted this particular product because the riser will allow the arm to clear the back of the monitor, as hopefully we'll see in a few minutes. Uh, heavy duty comb, oh no, let me read that again. Heavy duty combo mount for clamping to desktop up to 2.3 inches or 5.8 centimeters thick. Who has a desktop that is thicker than 2.3 inches? That's, that's a pretty thick desk. Uh, and detachable desktop mount for permanent attachment with included screws. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so let's just uh, look at the, hopefully I can get a little zoom up on the little product picture here so we know what we're looking at. Good enough. Now let's crack it open. Come to me. There we are. Well, let's put this to the side or on the ground. Just put it on the ground. So uh, let me just say, I really appreciate the packaging here. I was like, just expecting a bunch of loose metal flying around here, but it actually is very well tied down by tape and other uh, bits of foam. Let me see if I'm gonna have to cut this open. I think I'm going to have to. So let's do it. Okay, so I guess that's all that's in there. Can I pull this out over here? Can I do it? Let's try. Okay. I will have to cut through more tape. There we are. And we have warranty and looks like um, owner's manual. Okay. Anything else in here? No. All right, just to keep everything neat and tidy. Let's just put this back in the box real quick. Get in there. Good, good. Yes, yes, good, yes. Okay, back to the floor with you. All right, so what are we looking at here? Well, it looks pretty straightforward. I forgot to put the phone back in the box. So we have the desk clamp. Okay, so in the desk clamp bag. We have uh, what looks to be a pretty heavy duty desk clamp. And I, I do like that 
the, uh, the clamp part that spins uh, is black rather than what you would normally get, which is a, a more chrome color. And the part that clamps onto the desk is, uh, it is hard plastic, but at least it's not metal. So um, that actually is a concern for me for my desk because even though this part's gonna be underneath the desk, right? Uh, I still don't want it damaging the bottom of my desk, right? However, the part that does clamp down on top of the desk is, does have a, a little bit of padded foam here. So that's cool. All right, so it, in this bag also comes a little baggie of screws. And I assume, because there are, uh, there are holes here at the top, that you could slide out the clamp, which is uh, attached by a couple of Phillip, Phillips head screws. You take those out, slide out the clamp, and then you can then mount just this top part onto the desk by drilling four holes into your desktop. I guess that would work really well if you have um, a wider desktop and you have your mount, or you know maybe it's not even a desk, maybe you just have a table, and you wanna mount your microphone or microphones in the center so that you can then interview someone. So you know this might work really well for radio stations or podcasters who have some kind of homebrew situation. Okay, so that is the clamp. It looks like this is the riser. Let's just rip this open too. Okay, well, this looks very, very simple and straightforward. Not many moving parts. There is only one moving part, actually. So this would sit on top like this. You would secure it here. Let's see. Good. Okay, great. And then you could mount the other, the main part of the arm, or the main arm, over here and secure that as well with this screw. So let's loosen this up because I know I'm gonna put this all together in just a second. All right, so there's that, the riser. Now let us look at the actual microphone mounting arm. Okay, so it has a little band here to keep it. Make sure it didn't come apart, which is nice, which is appreciated. Let's go down here, the thinner direction. Okay, so it is all black and not a lot of branding. The only branding it has is a little sticker here that says all, all Ray, all Ray. <laughs> I just love saying their name, um, which I think you could probably just scrape off with a nail. And I, I might do that because I don't really like a lot of branding on my products. Okay, so the springs are internal. Let's see how quiet this is. Yeah, it is quiet. I hear no, no springs moving around in there. Okay. Well, that is appreciated. Hmm. Okay, I probably shouldn't try to extend it while it's not mounted to anything. So this would then go, wow, this is pretty Pretty tall. We'll bring it down here. There you go. Look at that. So, all right. So mounted to the riser. Oh, this is stiff as well. Jeez. Well, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I will. First of all, this is what it looks like. I wish I could get this all in frame here. Uh, fully attached. And this should be more than enough clearance for what I'm trying to do with my setup. Uh, I will demonstrate its uh, full reach once it's actually mounted and uh, I'm not trying to bend everything with my, my arms. All right, so let's go back to my station and set everything up. Okay, so I have the table cleared, or my, rather my desk cleared. So I'm thinking of putting the C-clamp here and then mounting the arm 
right, I guess right around this area. Hard to explain without more objects on the table to give you, give you the space. But uh, let's begin building the stand now. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good spot for it. And just in case you couldn't see earlier, these four holes, there are four holes here that can accept a screw. And if you take out these screws, these Phillips head, yes, Phillips heads, uh, you can slide out this part, the part that makes the, the C, the bottom clamp. You slide that out, replace these screws with the other screws that came with the package and you could actually screw this this base into your desk if you needed to in case you're not mounting it somewhere close to an edge all right let's attach the riser now okay so this is what it looks like with the riser once again the riser does stand pretty tall And I'm sure once I have the monitor in place, it will be uh, that much more uh, obvious at how tall the riser is. So just as a test of flexibility, it does feel pretty secure, but there is just a little bit of flex here that I'm worried, I'm worried about longevity, like how um, you know, what, what's the endurance of this, this particular part? Is my microphone stand just going to snap off one day in the middle of a, of a recording? I hope not. All right, but uh, so far the assembly is very straightforward and painless, so let's get the actual arm installed now. Okay, so I do have the arm mostly constructed, but I am concerned with, with the, the riser and uh, how flexible it is, how much it, we'll say, it feels like it's bending um, when I move the arm around. So this is me manipulating the actual microphone arm and because the arm is pretty stiff, um, you know, I'm just afraid that that riser is going to snap sooner or later. Let me get a, a wider angle here so you can see. And if not the riser, I'm really afraid maybe, you know, the clamp might give way or slide off or something. So uh, I think I'm going to have to take extra steps to make sure that that is secure. But uh, I mean, I'm mostly happy with performance. It's just uh, that is <laughs> that is a, a little cause for concern, uh, the flexibility here on the riser, uh, especially since it's going to be behind my monitor and I'm not going to be able to see any kind of failure if and when it does happen. I'm just going to feel it when the microphone drops on my face. Alright, so let's finish the build, get the microphone actually mounted, and put the monitor back in.
Okay, so this is the setup complete. I just have to put the monitor back, but I am pretty happy with the way it looks. I'm just hoping that that riser, uh, you know, is uh, as durable as I'm hoping it is and doesn't snap in the middle of some gameplay. But uh, time will tell. I am happy, however, with all of the space that it opened up here in the front. So, eating top ramen while playing is a possibility once again. All right, let's get everything cleaned up. Okay, let's see how well this works. Well, the springs are still very stiff. Hmm. It is blocking my view of the other monitor a little bit. Okay, well, we just have to make it work. Let's test, let's test how well this works while I'm using this camera when I'm recording gameplay footage. So I'm gonna load up a game and get OBS loaded and switch to that view. Okay, so this is, this is what it sounds like with the microphone way above my head without, um, without a game running, of course, and without me pulling it down. So this is with the microphone down, not too close to my face. Let's see if I can get it closer here. I'm trying to get it to not block my view of the other screen very much. Okay. Now, if I swing it too far this way, well, it doesn't obscure my face, so I guess that's all right, but we do have this microphone just dangling now. And I am worried about the fan noise from my, my tower. Uh, if I'm quiet, I'm sure you can hear it. And I'm not sure how that's actually gonna sound in playback, but I am going to find out once I listen to this again. So let's try loading, let's try loading a video game, something that I've been playing recently. Let's just get Warcraft 3 loaded. I think there was a patch recently. Well, let's get the patch. Oh, it's two gigs. Okay. Downloading, downloading. Come on, Google Fiber. See, I don't want to pull the mic down too far because then I kind of lose the ability or the value rather of my secondary monitor here to my left. Okay, patches downloaded and installed. That was fast. Uh, classic battle net accounts expire three months after your last connection. Of okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember my old password anyway, so. And this isn't a... Uh, this isn't meant to be a Warcraft 3 uh, gameplay video anyway. I just want to make sure the sound is not, that the sound is okay. So if I go to campaign. Oh, uh, so what if I... What's the sound? So I'm sure now that the video, or the video game is playing, it's drowning out the fan noise, so that's good. Pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. My audio levels look okay. I wonder if I'm clipping, because I had to bump up the gain a little bit. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. Well, the microphone isn't casting a shadow on my face, so that's good. Okay, so I think I'm satisfied with the way the gaming setup looks. I think I'm going to just wrap it up here. So that's the video. You just watched the unboxing and installation of the Allray two-section broadcast arm with internal springs. 
Overall, I am pleased with the product, but I'm not 100% sold uh, for two reasons. The first being the mechanical concern that I showed earlier, that riser flexes just enough that it makes me worry about it whenever I have to move the arm. Uh, the second reason is the arm itself. Those internal springs are really stiff and having a really stiff arm and a very flexible riser I feel like is just a recipe for disaster and it's, uh, it's a little surprise that I have to look forward to whenever one part of this broadcast arm uh, actually fails. But I'm sure that will make for great content in a future video. So uh, let me know what you think. Is this uh, product, is this broadcast arm right for your podcasting needs or your video game streaming needs? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if uh, you think I've made a terrible mistake because now the sound is all funky because I had to increase the gain in order to, for this microphone to capture my voice when before I could get the microphone like right here under my chin. This is the kind of feedback that I need from you. In any event, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time. Take it easy. Hey, whoa, that's the wrong direction to roll. Hey, Rene Gar Hey, Rene Garcia with Games Gear. Hey, Rene Garcia with This Is Too Far. Too Far? Can't control the roll. Hey, Rene Garcia. Oh, mother lover. Today in the studio, I have the All Ray. All Ray. Aw, the All Ray. <laughs> Let's do that again. <clears throat> I'm having a little too much fun today.